guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So we're over on the test server, patch 1.96 is up, which means that we do have a new hero, guys. That is right. Right here is Tarnos. As you can see, guys, absolutely amazing looking, guys. He is huge. I, I, I love how he looks. I was wondering how the picture would go, but you can see, guys, there's a big kind of stone tablet behind him, and he's kind of balancing this almost like a spear-like object in front of him. We're going to run through his skills and abilities, see exactly what he is about. So the Atoner's Prison, he is the Atoner. At the start of battle, he consumes 35% of his current health to receive damage reduction of 40%. That's a pretty big damage reduction right off the bat. Damage reduction will gradually diminish over the next 15 seconds to 10%. So he's still getting that 10%. He cannot move during the battle, but he can change his normal attacks according to the distance from the target and gain permanent immunity against knockback and knock up effects. So both of those he is going to have an immunity to. When using this skill effectively, he inflicts 260% attack rating damage to surrounding enemies within a certain area, disabling them from move to move for the next three seconds. So a little bit of a crowd control aspect in there. If there is a pillar of sin on the field, which we haven't seen yet, each pillar will have the same effect on surrounding enemies. If a target is attacked with this ultimate skill repeatedly, the damage they will receive each time will increase by 15%. So that's a lot to take in with a ultimate ability. Um, so he has built in his own damage increase. He does have the crowd control, which the heroes cannot move. And he is also going to have a big damage mitigation. All right, pretty stacked right there. If there are no Pillars of Sin on the battlefield at the end of the ultimate skill, the effect of the Pillar of Sin will be triggered immediately. And the damage increase reduction at start is 50% at the start of battle. Each time a Pillar of Sin is dropped, the diminish, diminishment of damage reduction is halted for one second. So as he is using these Pillars of Sin, it is going to reduce the amount that his damage reduction is going down. Pretty strong, so he's taken half damage right off of the bat. Divine Punishment, which is a passive ability here. Whenever an allied hero has suffered cumulative 20% of their maximum health, Tarnos drops a Pillar of Sin behind the enemy that last dealt damage to the allied hero. That's where the Pillar of Sin comes in. If uh, it afflicts a damage equal to 140% of the attack rate of the enemies within a certain area and interrupts their attacks. Again, not a crowd control, but if they are doing something, that can be the interrupt. These effects can only be triggered once every five seconds for each allied hero, which we have four other heroes. There can only be a maximum of three Pillars of Sin at the, on the field at one time. Newly created Pillar of Sin shatters other pillars nearby or beyond the maximum number, dealing damage. So now he's going to have more damage in there. Attack rating against enemies within a certain area and stuns them. So now they have a crowd control, guys. Um, so it interrupts the skill and it has crowd control, which is pretty good. Plus the main one has crowd control. He has damage reduction. Uh, the pillar inflicts drop. The damage inflicted by the drop pillar increased to 160. Then it goes to 220 right there when it is shattered. And the stun goes to two seconds when a pillar is shattered. Okay, pretty cool. Oathbreaker Strike, Arnos teleports to the Pillars of Sin further away from him and shatters it while increasing his attack speed by 25 points for 5 seconds. During the execution of the skill, he receives immunity against damage and control. Wow, guys, this, he seems like he's going to be pretty tough to kill. Um, he regenerates 12% of his max health before teleporting. After teleporting, any damage he suffers is reduced by 20% and is immune to control effects. Each time a pillar is dropped, the cooldown timer of the Oathbreaker Strike is reduced permanently by 0.5 seconds up for up to 10 times. Wow, that's pretty fast with that, that Oathbreaker Strike. So here is the actual pillar, guys. Another passive ability. Every 12 seconds, a pillar of sin is dropped in an area concentrated with allies and enemy heroes. Deals damage equal to 240% of the attack rating against enemies within a certain range, knocking them back and stunning them. So when a pillar drops, it's going to stun them as well. Each pillar on the field reduces the attack rating of nearby enemies by 6% while boosting the defense of allied heroes by 10%. All right, so now we have a, 
a attack rating reduction for the enemy and a defense boost for the allied heroes that's pretty strong as well the attacking rate the attack rate of the enemies within the pillar of sin is reduced by 10 percent. so from six to ten time to create a pillar of sin is reduced to eight seconds so now they're going to come out four seconds faster if an allied hero perishes under a pillar of sin Arnos will receive a permanent buff to increase attack rating by 15 percent defense rating by 20 percent for up to four times so if your other four heroes die guys up to four times a 15 percent attack rating and a 20 percent defense rating that's kind of um incredibly strong for a warrior class with continuous damage he seems pretty good right now let's check out the signature item after using the oathbreaker strike normal attack damage increases by 75 percent within the next four seconds that's a pretty big increase in damage during that period any normal attack inflicted by Carnos will re restore his health by 50 percent the attacks damage enemies hit by Tarnos normal attack during that period will lose 20 haste points and then taunts the surrounding enemies after teleporting running enemies for four seconds before teleporting so he will taunt the enemies to him four seconds before teleporting and then when he teleports he's going to have the immunity which is going to be pretty cool guys the, the, he seems pretty broken um each pillar sent on the field increases his attack speed by eight points life leech by eight points when there are at least two pillars of sin on the field the buff effect of the pillar of sin value increased to two times its original value now we're doubling the pillar of sin ability so remember guys that's defense and also this if an ally dies it's going to double the pillar of sin that seems broken that that seems really broken i mean if this is saying it's literally going to the pillar of sin increased to two times of the original value and if the original value is this that the 15 percent attack rating 20 percent defense rating if you have them at a 60 guys you're going to have to build him out he seems incredibly broken with the skills and abilities in here let's go ahead and see what he looks like actually in battle So he stays stationary which is interesting he still does attack which i like so there is the pillar he teleports to the pillar there's his aura with that ultimate ability there's another pillar the pillar just broke now there's an aoe around the pillar and him and then he teleports to it wow seems like he's gonna be pretty strong guys let's test him in battle i'm very interested to see um because he's bringing a lot to teams i'm thinking because remember guys he has a really big mitigation when he comes out thinking entendre maybe maybe hendrick do you like the tailing combination it doesn't seem like they gave us very many uh very many heroes here to really play with all right so let's see so he comes out boom he's stationary fifth remember he takes some of his health there's his teleport guy so he popped right on top of Maro. there's the ultimate ability so the ultimate off where he is and the bottom because we have another pillar right there Seems one, two, three. We have all three pillars up right there. So very interesting that he's stationary. That's that's kind of well, not really stationary, because I mean, even after a couple seconds, he teleports to the pillars. Right there, guys, he just shattered that pillar. But look, there's a pillar, there's a pillar, there's a pillar. He's got all three targets or all three enemies marked with pillars. Uh, those pillars of sin it's gonna be interesting because that's a lot of crowd control that he's throwing 
around there too. A lot of buffs, a lot of debuffs, a lot of crowd control that he is going to be throwing around within these formations. All right, guys, so that'll do it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this new hero. Um, very interesting that he is a warrior hero. Um, definitely adds a little bit more dynamic, but he, he's bringing buffs. He's bringing debuffs. It seems like he's going to be pretty tough to kill. You throw a life leech on him with a big damage mitigation. Again, it's going to be interesting to see exactly where he fits into formations. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.